We go to Washington, D.C. at Nationals Park. We're joined by Dylan Cease. Dylan, congratulations on a tremendous start, a tremendous day. Take me through what your emotions are right now. How are you feeling? Oh, thank you. Uh, I mean, right now I just feel happy. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It really is. It's almost, uh, it's almost too good to be true. Um, man, just I, I, I don't even know how to feel right now. <laughs> Dylan, at what point today did you realize that you were maybe in the midst of something special? Uh, I feel like after the fifth, it kind of starts getting serious. And then after the seventh, it's like, you know, I mean, you are, you're very close. So I try not to think about it too much. I mean, it's inevitable. Um, it's inevitable. It's going to cross your mind, but I was just trying to focus more on pitch sequencing and, uh, where I wanted to get the ball. Dylan, did you feel that intensity heightened as you got into the eighth inning? Your pitch count after seven was at 94. It was at 103 pitches after eight. Did you feel things getting a, a little bit more tense? Were you concerned about the pitch count at all? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a little concerning. I, I, you know, after that seventh, I think I was at 94, 95. And mm. I kind of just had mapped it in my mind. Like if I, if I finish the eighth with like 105, then that should buy me, you know, an inning's worth of pitches. So... That was kind of what was on my mind. Um, and then other than that, like I said, it was just how am I going to sequence and how am I going to execute? Dylan, a couple of years ago with the White Sox, you came one out away. And in fact, it was your now teammate, Luis Arise, who, yeah. who broke it up. When you think back to that day and you think about what you did today, I mean, how sweet is this considering you have come so close in the past? Yeah. I mean, if it, if it happened twice, it would have been heartbreaking. I can tell you that. But, uh, man, I mean, anytime you can do something that's, you know, like that, it, it's, it's almost, uh, it, it almost feels too good to be true. You know, it's so much has to go right. Um, look at those multiple defensive plays today that, that went our way. Um, and uh, I just, I, I couldn't be more thrilled. Yeah, you mentioned the defense. There was the catch in center by Merrill on the deflection off Bogart's mitt. Xander made a great play later in the game. There was a double play from Solano to Kim that was not easy whatsoever. What did you think about yeah. the way your defense helped you through this no-hitter? Man, I mean, they were rock solid. You know, I mean, I, I wouldn't have thrown it without them. Uh, but, you know, Merrill being behind Bogey right there and making that play and Bogey making that kind of double clutch sliding play on Ruiz. Um, I mean, it's just so much has to go right. And uh, I'm, I'm sure when I look back at this, it's going to be even more amazing. Dylan, that moment in at the bottom half of the ninth inning, two outs, you're facing the Nationals' leadoff man, C.J. Abrams. Line drive to yeah. right. Johnson catches it. You leap up in the air. Your teammates swarm you, celebrate with you. Take me through your emotions, your feelings. What was that moment like to finally do it? Man, I, I don't even know. Uh... I don't really know how I felt. I was just so happy. And, you know, I just kind of let out a scream. I think it was like a primal scream. And then everyone is around me. So I, I think that was the most fun part is, you know, everyone, everyone kind of not dogpiling, but, you know, forming a circle and just being so happy. And I mean, I was just screaming. Yes. I think I screamed. Yes. Like 50 times. <laughs> and, uh, man. I, I, that's something I'll be able to relive in my mind for, for the rest of my life. Well, Dylan, screaming yes for good reason. What a performance yeah. here today. You've been so, so good as of late, and you were quite literally unhittable in this one here today. Dylan, again, congratulations on your first career no-hitter, and uh, we'll you. see you back here in San Diego. Thanks so much for calling in. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.